Salvatore M says, Dutch, very little is said about Whitey Caldwell, aside from the fact that he was almost a Bobby Eaton level nice guy in the Smoky Mountains. Can you give us any insights on this esoteric legend? Never met Whitey Caldwell, but I heard a lot about him. It was a very, he was from East Tennessee. It never really traveled from there. I think he was from Knoxville or Johnson City or, and I don't even know how he got in wrestling, but he was over big time in East Tennessee. They drew some big houses with the guy. And he was he wasn't even a big guy. He probably weighed 170 pounds, no more than 180. But he would go in there and he was so good and so believable. People believed the guy. You know, when I talk about connectivity to the fans, he connected to them because he was them. He was one of them. And when he'd get in the ring, of course, they'd always try to mismatch him with some big guy that looked like he didn't have a chance with. And they just loved him to death. I heard stories about him. I think he died in a car crash before I got to East Tennessee, I think. And I, and I never met the guy, but he, he drew some big, big houses there. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Corwell was killed in a car accident when a man was driving at high speed and was trying to pass cars when he hit Corwell's in a curve. Uh, this what? was in 1972, October 7th. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Long time before I got there. Yeah. Uh, I, was well, trying, no, I was trying to think. So uh, not, this is the Ron Wright five era. Years. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the Wright brothers, they were over too. So you got these, what you had, they all had Southern accents. If you talk to Ron Wright or Don Wright, you think he was down in South Alabama somewhere. And I said, well, let me tell you something here, boy. You know, and, they do, and that's the way they do their interviews. So, and it got over. And, you know, when they would have people come out and they finally turn baby face they would have some northern heel and come out and tell them they were a bunch of them fake ass rednecks or whatever. Oh. And then, of course, Don and Ron was the the big star of the group. Don and I mean, Ron was the big brother. Don was a the, the lesser brother. But they would come out and they would defend East Tennessee, and they were big heroes. I mean, I don't know what to. It was just punch and kick is all it was. They didn't really try to hurt their trade, but actually trying to do some wrestling. Mm -hmm. Hell, that'd kill them. They didn't know how to wrestle, but they knew how to get over, and they knew how to connect with that crowd. And they were one of them, and that's all they needed. There is, uh, best I can tell, one match on YouTube film of Ron Wright versus Whitey Corwell from October 1962 in the Kingsport Territory. Yep. Yeah. 